This is my newest generation of Connex train system, and after two months of hard work, they are finally available. So let's talk about all the changes and big improvements. I did a total redesign of the universal joints, scrapping the bearings and making the design simpler and easier to produce. The universal joint redesign has also allowed me to use the same exact print file for both front and middle cars, meaning there's no longer a difference between them both. This means by removing the zero car, you can turn a front car into a middle car and vice versa. You probably just noticed one of the other big changes to the train system itself, and that's that all of the wheel assembly axles now rotate left and right, which means the wheels and the bearings will always point in the direction of a track even on tight turns. Not only does this allow you to build tighter turns and tighter twists, but it also makes your trains faster. As on the previous version 1 model, the rear wheels of each train system didn't used to do this, and therefore the bearings used to sort of drift around tight corners, and it would cause a little bit of extra friction and slow the train down a little bit. The version 2's magnetic brake run has been made to have higher tolerances. That means there's a lesser of a gap between the magnets and the brake run bar. And because I'm now using slightly better magnets and a slightly thicker brake run bar, the magnetic braking force is actually a little bit stronger now. The mounting system for top designs has remained broadly the same, however, because every single train system body is now the exact same print, there is only one mounting screw hole for every single design. It does make things a lot simpler, but unfortunately this means that you won't be able to use previous designs from version 1 on version 2. What this does mean, however, is that the top designs for version 2 are a lot more detailed and they have a lot more multicolour options available. Along with this, I personally just think that the new designs are a lot better scaled, meaning they match the size of the wheel assemblies a lot better. There is also a page on my website dedicated just for bearings. It explains the two different sizes that you can use, and it also explains the differences between hybrid, full ceramic, and even steel. Cost, longevity, and even overall performance is very different between all three of these types of bearings. And my personal recommendation would be the hybrid ceramic. For anyone upgrading from the version 1 to the version 2, you won't need to get any new bearing. This is because the version 1 and the version 2 uses the same size bearings. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any other questions regarding either the trains or the bearings. I am also more than happy to make a custom top design from scratch in anything that you want. And finally, for my loyal version 1 customers who are thinking about upgrading, if you contact me first, there's probably some kind of discount that I can give you for being a loyal previous customer. And finally, I'd like to mention that there's UK free shipping on orders over £100 and worldwide free shipping on orders over 310 US dollars. The next video on the channel will be the finished Yukon Striker recreation, and then the next video after that will be a comparison between version 1 and version 2 in terms of performance. This is where I'm going to be testing and showcasing the new capabilities of the version 2 trains, both on tight twists, tight turns, and on extra speed retention on long drawn out turns. Thank you all so much for supporting my journey here on YouTube, and the next video that I'm going to be uploading is the finished Yukon Striker video.